You about to, you about to be sad, man. I don't know how you over there. I don't know why you over there beating up on scrubs like Hickson, man. That's so okay. I'm in a couple. You can. I'm in a couple of different leagues. I'm in one with like 31 other the users, but I don't know anybody in that league. James Stadium in Tampa, but it's all it's Just all like user versus ago, user games. From their but then the I mean you can and but and then I got another league that I'm in, in the that there's only like four State. people. And we're in the big ship and fittingly everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up. So we all we all got one division and that way we play each other twice a year. Take it in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him. He wasn't going to sell them blocks. All told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. I see it. I see them Rams is tied to getting beat. <laughs> I'm not ready for the Rams. I've been smacking the Rams. And the cow busy boys. On first down, Wilson. That's complete. In the oh, you're supposed to kill that man, PP. JPP produces six yards, brings up second down. JPP, like I'm disappointed. Like like Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can you're supposed to light that man up for years. Your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, light him up like that firecracker lit your hand up. I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets Ooh, them amped up. Good play. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. Good play. I see you added some plays to your playbook. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Man, he took a, he took a horrible angle. There. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So how about this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a toss play. It's Carson. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second and nine, Wilson, and it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Devin White, the linebacker. Woo! Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many Man, I thought you had MVP Russ on your quarter, team. First drive, first interception. Throw. You, got, you ain't got Danger Russ. You got Kitty Winston Cat Russ. The Bucks take over now, first and ten at their own 19-yard line. Now the first carry for Ronald Jones. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down, oh, yeah. Tampa Bay. Get saucy there, a out of 13. here. Get saucy out here, boys. Hey, they blitzing everybody on that left side. They go play action. Winston. Polluting the pressure right. It's caught by Mike Evans. Ah. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A gain of 32 that time. Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back trying to cover. Couldn't get there in time. Well scripted. They had the big running play. Now the big passing play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Winston ahead. Ah, this get to the hole. Get to the hole. Get to the hole. Get to the hole. He goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Ready? 
Play fake. Winston. Ah. Coming and he's taken down. Took too long. Took too long. I didn't see. I didn't see Brandon. So on fourth down, McDougal on comes come the Buccaneer edge. kicker, Matt Gay. From the right hash, this from 53. We're scoreless after one. Fuck. And that is no good. Ugh. And this will remain a scoreless game. <laughs> Come on, man. An empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just <laughs> never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. <laughs> and because of that, you know what the thought process oh! is? Interception. <laughs> What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So oh, man. Attack, go he got no experience catching the ball. He didn't know what to be do. Successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. To throw once more on second and ten. Wilson, he'll find Ballore out of the backfield. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets him up for third down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now. Jesus, man, like. Fullbacks, but does it matter what you call the position? It's who you put there, and there we saw a completion. Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. First down, Seattle. Here's Wilson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. Pass the 20. 10. Five. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, Parker? Oh my God. I can't make these at all. Jesus. Word. What would you do with the ampersand? I like it. My well, game's broken over here. It's broken. Bro. Oh my God! Another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Oh my God! And that drives coaches oh my insane, God. doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't oh feel right, goodness. does it? Plus, you're giving up yards. Our kicks are all off. They're all terrible. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at the 40. Now it's Carson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Carson. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. Flushed out right. Open man is Gordon complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 38-yard line. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive. Third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
A reminder coming up at halftime. Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Oh, gets it down murder that man. Shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson being chased out left. They'll get the Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a big yeah. turnover there as his guys will get the football back. <laughs> I didn't see so it. So they tried it. Not only I didn't did they see not it. get the first, they fumbled it away. Yeah, it's one of those things where it went from bad to worse. But I know that everyone's going to pile in on the call and say, well, what are you doing? Why would you go for it there? I think the teams that are convinced that they feel pretty good about their game plan, what they want to get done that day, go for it. Give it a try. Hey, let's see if your defense can rescue them a little bit. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Jameis to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Not his own, man. They got stuffed at the line. Different story here. Over 20 yards. Not his own. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working out of the gun. Winston. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Wow. For Evans, but he, that pass is he had him beat. Trey Flowers picks it, and his crew will take over with a football at the oh, 35 yard awful. line. I had you beat. He had you beat by like five yards. Why not just run at a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get this. out of there. But I'm Come just on, man. You let me down. Of today's NFL and the high power offenses that you're facing may force them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Yeah, he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at about the 31. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. That'll be taken in the end zone, and he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Looking downfield for Godwin. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Bradley McDougal that time able to knock it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Here's Winston. There's the Penn State man, it's Chris Godwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Winston now to throw on first down. Dancing to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble, it's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. Play action now, Winston. He's going to fire one deep, middle of, and that's caught. 
Inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 20. Too so fast, man. They're too fast. Six yards on the play. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that? One? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. I got you. To throw again on second down. Winston escaping the pressure right. Yeah, he's got it. And it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A three-yard touchdown run as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And now Coach Bruce Arians has made the call. His guys will go for two. Joker, 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 Joker. They're going to run for it with Jones. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, Someone's going to shake free, and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a wrap not just it wasn't. with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and put the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now <laughs> is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. No catches for you, bro. You're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run the counter. It's Carson, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Levante David in on the tackle. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Flush to his right, and that one got tipped. Kind of yeah. Off. It brings up third. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Mm, 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 mm. On third down, Wilson. Oh, what? Hollister. And he's out of they are here really hating on your boy. Pick up that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Back now in Tampa. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. Wilson now five straight completions here in this second half first and ten they run it with Carson 
And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are back within a single score. And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it into play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. Extra point up and through by Myers. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Winston. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, mm. or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, when we talked about them, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. On first down, Carson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawks football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. They'll run it with Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. 
Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Again, it's Jones. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Winston. Airing this one out for Evans. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. You got the slim lead late and the football, so why are you throwing it there? Remember during the year when we asked one of the head coaches, you know, if you're in this spot, why would you throw the ball? And he talked about trust in his quarterback and trust in his offense. But still. And then at the end, he kind of went, yeah. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. User gone. It's Devin Wright, the linebacker. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. <laughs> I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, oh, right, as a receiver on. if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. As they'll talk things over I'll take it. to this upcoming second down play. A loss of a yard there Dubs. to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Winston now. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. And they'll get this well past midfield. You almost did. Stop just before the 35. 23 yards to pick up there. So from the 36 now, first uh -huh. and 10. Now it's a bootleg with Winston. Eluding the pressure right. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially soak. And, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel lazy route. Oh, shit. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, oh, make sure you stay that was amazing. Right things down the stretch, especially on defense, but that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. <laughs> following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Seahawks take over first down 10 at their own 26-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation, pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. And Dama can sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And it was her defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency.